Well, you know, for the last couple of weeks now, Mayor Catherine Pugh has come under a lot of fire for not having a crime plan. That criticism came mostly from members of the city council. Well, this morning she addressed those concerns with her own document. ABC2 News' Brian Kubler joins us now live with more on this plan. Brian? Kelly, Mayor Pugh says she's always had a crime plan since the day she stepped into City Hall today. But today, she said she released an update to that plan. It's the violence reduction update. To be exact, the mayor says her 20 page color printout today is a reflection of her original comprehensive crime plan, but with some changes, changes tailored to take on the persistent and acute level of violence currently plaguing Baltimore. This is urgent. I can't say it any louder, you know, and again, I can't say it more often. This is urgent. Much of this plan is what you've heard before, a focus on recruiting new officers, better policing and unfreezing police positions to swell the ranks, continuing the fight against violent repeat offenders, even enhancing funding for alternative programs like Safe Streets. But the plan also calls for improving health initiatives and engaging youth, including an investment in free college education. By 2018, the mayor hopes to provide a free community college education for any city high school senior who wants it. A move signaling a crime reduction plan, she says she's enacting from all sides of this issue. We can drive down violence in the city, but the police department having the right tools, community having faith in their police department, and neighborhoods working together will make the difference in terms of how we move our city forward. The mayor prefaced her crime plan update this morning with announcing two key appointments. Kendra Parlock will be the new director of city stat and will be in charge of, quote, reinventing that department. Also, former chief of staff to Commissioner Kevin Davis, Drew Vetter, will now be the director of the mayor's office of criminal justice. Undertaking a national search for that role, Mayor Pugh said Vetter was under her nose the whole time. Commissioner Kevin Davis says these appointments are no small part of a holistic crime plan he hopes recruits and sinks several different city agencies into the crime fight. That's meat and potatoes right there. I now have a director of my Office of Criminal Justice. I now have someone running my city stat. So let's all get back in the huddle with these two people to quarterback us through and, and let's get to a, a better place. Now, if you would like to read the details of this plan, the entire 20 page document, we have linked you to it on our website at abc2news.com. But now we're live in downtown Baltimore at City Hall. Brian Kubler, ABC2 News.